Cause just cause fucking neck beards definitely like ruined that hat and that particular uh set of skills. Like mannerism. Doesn't mean I'm willing to let them win. Do boo do ba do it do it do it do it ba da da ba ba da ba da ba. Oh, I will say if I do it to like if I do it to women, without a doubt, no matter like why, it could be an old lady, it could be a young person, doesn't matter. I get the same shitty look of like, oh fuck you, and I'm like, I do it to everyone, I promise, I'm not a creep. Mm, highly doubt that. Not murderous, maybe. Usually it's when I cut them off in traffic, or if I uh, almost run into them at the store. Why the fuck I are don't, you doing that? To I don't. Uh, you've created a problem for yourself, Mason. I don't. I don't mean like run into them like, oh hey, I haven't seen you in forever. I mean I nearly like physically ram my shoulder into theirs because they're in my way. If you see me in a store, anybody, stay the fuck out of my way. I will stay shoulder away. check you into a cart. I have a very limited window there to land on that square. Yes, you do. Before, so oh, man, know. Zach, did I ever tell you about the time I shoulder checked a bunch of, like, adult men? No! Black... He didn't oh. jump when I wanted to. I pressed the button. <laughs> so, I shoulder checked a bunch of adult men on Black Friday once. Uh-huh. Uh, which doesn't surprise you probably or shouldn't really surprise anybody, but I I did it because this little old lady Came up to me while I was standing by like the crockery like we, we were the buying crockery or No, we were buying more cookware because we didn't really have any Oh, that was a risk. And, <laughs> and I'm like walked I walked up to it and I grabbed ours and put it in the cart and she goes excuse me, but can you grab me one of those? I can't seem to get through. And I'm like, oh, sure thing, man. And I fucking just threw an elbow into a dude's side and shoulder checked another guy out of the way <laughs> and grabbed the last one. <laughs> and fucking, they turned and I, as I looked at them and like glared and handed it to an old woman. <laughs> I'm like, here you go, ma'am. Oh! And she's like, oh, thank Nice. She's like, oh, thank you. And like walks off and these fucking dudes just glare at me. I'm like, hi, and left. <laughs> never, never doubt that if an old lady asks me to, like, do you harm, I will do you harm. Do you harm for old women? To an extent, Nations I should really specify. Old women. No, I just like the elderly. I feel like a lot of people just don't listen to them because they're old. That makes me feel yeah, bad. Yeah, well, then again... I also work with old women. Yeah, you work in retail? I don't. <laughs> I also do have a limit. Like, I'm not going to be like... Oh, I did like, it again! They didn't jump! <laughs> like, I'm not going to be like, oh, man, you should definitely yell at that cashier some more. <laughs> like, I I'm not a, that... I'm not that nice. Once had a woman... She... I feel... I don't know if I told this story on stream or not. Thank God I fucked that up properly. Um, was there's an old woman, she really wanted... Who lives in a shoe. <laughs> also, yes. But also, she, um... She wanted, like, the sale for toilet paper. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm sorry, ma'am, we don't have that toilet paper in stock. Like, we can't. She's like, well, can you... You know, I'm just so old, and I don't know when I'll... Can I just wait on this? No, I can't. No, you can't on the black ones, though. Yeah, let's sit here. No, you can't. I uh, know. Oh, but um, man, you really like cutting that close. I do. Uh, she was like, uh, "Yeah, I don't know if I'll be back, you know, anytime soon." Just I just don't know when I'm gonna get. Oh, <laughs> when I get out of the house. And I was like, "I'm sorry, ma'am. We just we don't have the product in. It's like it was already already sold. You can't do it." She's on this amigo and she's trying to be like sweet old lady. She goes, "Well, fine," and stands up out of the um, the little like riding yeah. cart and walks <laughs> the fastest I've ever seen an old woman walk out of the store. And I I get on the radio and goes, "Guys, I think a miracle just happened." <laughs> I just enraged an old woman hard enough that it fucking cured her arthritis. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, Jenna pointed out the name of the book I'm currently reading. I don't know if I told you what it is. No. It's The Faceless Old Woman Who Secretly Lives in Your Home. Oh my god, fuck that. <laughs> fuck all it's of great. that. It's so great. It's such a good book. <laughs> it's like... I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. Like, it's astonishingly good. It's got, like, a really cool story to it. I'm not gonna spoil it. But... It's so fucking good. <laughs> um... But yeah, the, the title alone was worth it for me. <laughs> yeah, fucking... Oh, what was it? Oh, you know, looking back, I've shoulder-checked a lot of people out of my way during Black Friday. <laughs> I am an unkind man when it comes to that. What's What you I've also done... You sense that I'm unkind. <laughs> yeah. uh, when... So... <laughs> So, I'm one of the reasons that Walmart in town hands out vouchers now instead of, like, putting out giant pallets of stuff. What did you do? Uh, so you know how you're supposed to, like, wait until a certain time period and then they would send somebody over with a knife to cut, like, the plastic sheeting? Uh-huh. I never waited. I, I never uh, once did I fruit. wait. I, what was it? Is a green one, a melon. Uh, I think that's at the top of the roller coaster. Um. This is a durian. If I had to get a durian, I'd fuck my life, I'd quit the level. Yeah. Oh no, no, no! It's over there. I see it now. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I, I would like shove my hand through the plastic, or like work my fingers through it while we we're waiting in line, and if it was small enough, I'd just nab it and leave. <laughs> Like, if it, if it was small enough for me to, like, carry away... Obviously, I can't do it to, like, a TV or anything like that. Or, like, a printer. But I can't, I could do it to, like, a camera. And I did. More than once. And, like, I wouldn't steal it. I'd still pay for it. I'd just get it out of there, and then I'd go wander the store until such a time that I knew it was open. Uh -huh. So they could check it out. You know, I just realized, Mason... This is the weirdest fucking, like, level they could have done. Look at uh, that. It needs to be orange, Zach. But it adds for a melon. Do I have to kill it now? Yeah. No. No. Just. I have to eat the go, pineapple. Eat, go, yeah, yeah, you gotta go eat a pineapple. This is the weirdest level. Um, Find a Yoshi. Then suddenly fucking Anti Mario appears. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason to this. And also, like, what did you need the Yoshi for? To, to do the level. Yeah, but why? It makes why? no sense. Yeah, is you didn't need that. Is he secretly that fucking, like, little girl? You, you oh, could have... You, you... <laughs> I forgot they dissolve in water. I forgot they're not you, waterproof. You, you could have literally just like, oh, look, he wants a different fruit. Oh, hey, good news for you. That's literally growing on the tree to your right. On Left. The oh, there, no. yeah. Yeah! Oh. Spray it down, you dingus. And he's like, his nose is uh, got a boogly googly. Got a booger. A um, big old booger. Hey! Yeah, I used, to, I used to do that. I also, uh, I used to go to Black Friday and take stuff out of those pallets, like fight my way to the front, grab the, like, big item for the season, and I go hide at places because I never had the money to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> like... I'd go, like, go grab an Xbox and just, like, stash it in the diaper aisle. Hey, look at that. Give me the fucking... Oh, why did you show up? I would do it for the people that, like, didn't want to forsake their family and go there. <laughs> like, I, I wouldn't, like, leave super early. If it was something that was going on sale at, like, 4 p.m., you could fuck right off and still can. But, like... If it was something that went on sale at like nine, and people were like, "I didn't, ha I didn't have time, or I didn't, I had to put my kids to bed, whatever," I would just like give them a chance. Uh -huh. Like you go there, you go to see it. There's one more. You're all dejected. There's fucking nothing here. And you're like, "Damn it!" And you're just wandering around, all broken. And oh, what's this? Out of nowhere! Holy shit! There's the Xbox I wanted, and it's just sitting in a pile of diapers. <laughs> And you're like, thank you, asshole angel. And I go, you're welcome. And you're wondering, why are you in the diaper aisle still? And it's because I slept there. Because like, I was drunk and I slept there. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. 
But yeah, I used to do that all the fucking time. Uh, I haven't done. I, obviously, I haven't done it since they brought the voucher system back because that's not fun. Yeah, but my favorite man. was was occasionally I would leave that night, and then I would go back to the store the next day, like because I don't know if anyone's ever been to like after Black Friday. Like you, you go to Black Friday at night, and then the next day at like one p.m. If you go to that store, it looks like it, a fucking war was fought there. Because there's nothing. There's nothing but, like... There was always nothing but, like, empty pallets and plastic wrap everywhere. Go ahead, try it. And... Just for what one you... try? Or do I... Do I just... Do I try to be a smart boy here? <laughs> um... Smart boy. You gotta be a smart boy. Got it. I hate you. You could have saved it too, and you just didn't. <laughs> I, knew, I, knew, I knew saying that would make you do that. <laughs> and I did it anyway. <laughs> oh, God I damn so it. I love me. <laughs> um, Whoa! But yeah, you, Mar you go Mar there. Mario! <laughs> You go there afterwards, and there's, like, nothing left. There's garbage movies and games, like Destiny. I got Destiny the day after at a Walmart. You love Destiny. It's still trash. I know it's trash. Oh. I love Destiny, but, like, I don't love playing Destiny. They still release I love shit. the world of Destiny. They still release Destiny stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a new one coming out, uh, I think, in September. Why? That looks... <laughs> Because it's what's a cool. What's the office of Destiny Two look like? Is it just three guys being like, I don't know, let's make a new gun today? I mean, basically, there, there's there's been some cool ones. Don't get me wrong. Oh, the I didn't the jump last again. wow, the I last know why, time I played, like a weird delay to me when I jump, so I feel like I yeah, can jump at the last second. I don't Damn. But the the last one I played was Forsaken, which was like the space western one. Which was really fucking cool. Right up until the point where they had me have to grind out everything. And then I was not having it. <laughs> I, I, I don't have that kind of fucking time. I remember I used to, like, get on Destiny. Oh, I did it again! Fuck! <clears throat> I used to get on, like, Destiny pages. Oh, well, uh, whoops. <laughs> I, I know. Listen, I started off real solid with the stream. You had to see this coming. <laughs> but like I used to I used to get on like destiny pages and stuff and I'd be like I don't have fucking time to grind this out it's like I, I work for a living I have shit to do and you'd always get these motherfuckers on there that are like I work 16 hour days and I have a family and I also sometimes like to lick my balls and I still have time to spend 17 hours playing destiny I also sleep for 8 hours a night if you're doing your math right hang on I'll tell you what it is in a second. <laughs> oh my god, Piantissimo? It's the first time oh, I've read it at Piantissimo? <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. Let's see what they had to say about Piantissimo. Pian if you're doing your math correctly, I play games and eat and sleep and go to work, and it only makes for 36 hour days. <laughs> is that not how time works? It just it always pissed me off because it's like no you fucking don't or you do and your family hates you because yes. you get off of work and you do nothing and then you go home and tell yourself my wife loves me while she does everything <laughs> now hopefully all of our people will return home again thank you Mario thank you uh, Jenna for telling me that I feel better I was honestly expecting more mean things but the fact that you we owe it all to off. you <laughs> Thanks, and say, do you know that guy? I feel like most people, most people know me. What, what's happening? Are you gonna murder me? No, I see the people in the corners. Do you see them? Mario, do you see them? He's been waiting up there for you for quite a while. He keeps talking about how good he is at things, and he's terrible. You, you, uh, <laughs> Oh, I just realized what you were talking. 
<laughs> You're such a dumb bastard sometimes. <laughs> I really, I was really trying to sell it without saying it. You all right? You good? The rest of the stream. I can't. I can't. <laughs> My life is a lie. Oh, uh, I started making my go live yeah, notifications. Yeah, I'm just gonna go up this way. Like, okay. <laughs> I started making my go live notifications really ominous. Yeah, it's like, I know. Granny's is not. Granny's is now open. They, I don't know how, but they found you. Run or fight. I like it. Look at this oh guy. shit. Yeah, there, there was a Destiny <laughs> thing that they were talking about Holy releasing man. that I thought looked good, but I, I am Il Pantissimo! Yes, that is me! El Pantissimo! This is a corpse of a Piante boy! And now I challenge you to a race to that flag! Don't call the police! They don't know you! Zach, wait, what if that's the, the fucking Piante's, like, war helmets? Oh, they, they, the corpses? They would, no, they just, like, put on that. <laughs> it's, like, made of metal and, like, bulletproof. <laughs> but they still have to have room for their big-ass noses, so they just shove it through the hole. The best time is 40 seconds. Bet you can't, bitch. Are you at the ready? Then get steady. Go! <laughs> Good start. Doing great. Good start. Jump off the thing, Mario. Yeah. Uh, there's no fucking way I'm getting back into this. I Every now and then I get, like, this urge where I'm like, I, you know, I should revisit Destiny. And then I'm like, no, I shouldn't. I remember why I stopped. At a certain point when it feels like a second job, it's not fun. Oh, Zach. He beat he the beat. best time! <laughs> <laughs> he said the best time was 40 seconds. He beat it. <laughs> I, just I like how you were humiliated so bad he murdered you. Do you he kicked me out. <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> you don't get the shit on it just because of your trauma with Do it. Do you remember when we played Destiny at your place? You want to tell that story about when I fell asleep playing Destiny? Oh my god, I forgot about that. So, this was at my old house, uh, and Zach and I played Destiny. It was right after I got Bubbles, because you were primarily coming over to see the dog, and we ended up playing Destiny. Yes. And you ended up staying the night, and the next morning I smacked you awake with a pancake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's not even, Please. um, that's not even a joke. I made pancakes in the morning, and it was like noon, and he still hadn't gotten up, so I walked upstairs where he was sleeping, and I opened the door, and I go, Zach, Zach, and he didn't respond, and I just, I had a pancake in my right hand, and I just go, wake up, bitch, I made pancakes! Yeah. And he went, wakes up, and I'm like, come downstairs, and I went downstairs, and he comes down eating the pancake, he's like, did you just slap me awake with a pancake? I'm like, yes. I got him this time. I'm a crazy person. Um, I got him easy this time. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> you beat his stuff. I was gonna say, watch you have to like do something. I know, I was like, do the thing, make a noise. <laughs> You're quite speedy, you little fucking fish boy. You may not be this slow clam chomper. That's, well, that's not that's, an insult. That's uh, that's. He's <laughs> just for him. I took you for. <laughs> May we race again? Watch for me! You know, it's bullshit yeah, that you soul. if you lose, and he just gets to give you money and leave. He stole my soul. All right, that's just, this is his innards. <laughs> one of many. Remember, don't tell one the police of, I one, have this body! One of the many souls that he's stolen by beating them. <laughs> uh, but no, so we, we were playing, and we were having a good time, and, like, it got late. And Zach had gotten tired, and I didn't realize it. And we're doing a strike. It was one of the Vex ones. I don't remember which one. 
and I'm like running around shooting the fucking boss. I'm like sprinting in circles, and Zach is still firing, but he's just running straight. Goes straight, and it, he's just running dead straight. He's he killed a few things. I'm not gonna lie to you, and he's just firing, reloading, firing, and then he runs into a wall and just keeps firing. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I look over, and he's dead asleep, snoring, but he has fallen asleep with his hands on the controller and one thumb forward and the fucking fire button held down. Yep. <laughs> and I'm like, are you shitting me? And of course I didn't stop the strike, like a good friend. <laughs> Instead, I just finished the strike and then was like, Zach, wake up. You're playing in your sleep. You should probably go to bed. My God. Oh. <laughs> I remember, I have bad memories of, I got pissed off at Destiny because uh, my old roommate Kevin bought uh, Destiny and I think the, one of the first big fucking uh, like, like team strikes uh, came out. Where it was like, I was the, it, the, I was bought the glass, I remember yeah, this. It took like Many many it a, hours. It was a when raid. It first came out like no one knows what. Yeah, because no one knew there was no walkthrough, and, and no one had like done it seventeen hard. times. Yeah. And so that day, they brought them back. By the way, I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> that day uh, was the release of Super Smash Bros. on the DS, and we had bought it, and we had pre-ordered it. And we we're gonna go to the GameStop in town. Uh, to it was in Muncie, wasn't it? In Muncie, yeah. To uh, go get it for the midnight release. I was like, this will be fun. We'll do the midnight release for that. Play it all night and shit. You know, because I, I didn't care about school. Because <laughs> <laughs> Zach barely went to class. Zach had depression. Uh, and so. <laughs> We, he, no he, get, he gets started on that uh, game, and I'm like, hey, all right, you know, once once we're done. Why is that done, one not doing anything? It's just holding Does still. It follow me? Try right, follow me. Yeah, it follows me. Yes, but, yeah, um, that was the correct the correct thought, Zach. But it, uh, so I'm like, okay, sure. Like, uh, yeah, just finish it and we'll go. So he's like talking to these people. They're taking fucking hours. There's like many breaks where they're just talking. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, hey, what's going on, man? And he's like, shh. I'm like, you fucking sushi me. You invited me to your place. <laughs> and yeah. And I was like, OK, man. And eventually I just got sick of it. I was like, fine, fuck you. I'm just going to go. And I, I, I didn't end up going. And I was like, I just left, went back to my place because it was like way too late at that point. And I was like, fine, I don't care. And so he, he texted me later that night, like 2 a.m., being like, oh. There is no fucking ledge there. Ah, that made my feet tingle. I fucking <laughs> hate that. And uh, he was like, beat it. And I was like, cool. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it took him like eight hours or some shit. It took forever. That game is impossible. That was so ridiculously hard. Yeah. Okay. Well, and like, here's the funny thing is later on, it was because it was the first raid, so no one knew what to do. Now, pe raids come out and people are like, I beat it and it's been like 37 minutes. <laughs> and it's like, how? <laughs> there's, always, there's always a race to be the first ones to beat the raid. Yeah, which I, I always, back then that I was, always appreciate oh, well, that. This is bad timing. It's still like, fuck, Bungie will send you shit. Like yeah. they'll they'll send you a jacket that's like got your fucking gamer tag and shit on it, <laughs> cause like you were first. It's a it's still a big fucking deal. What? What do you do? Well, not that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's certainly not that. I have no idea. What yeah, I'm no, saying. that game that game sucks you in in a way that's really annoying, because like you can know it's happening and it won't help you. And I honestly think it's just because of, like, the world and the way the game looks is so fucking fun-looking and fascinating that you're willing to overlook the fact that the game itself 
hurts you. It hurts you in so many ways. You just don't, like, you play it and you're, like, not even really having that much fun. I had fun with Forsaken, but that was because it was a space western. You want to make me happy? Give me cowboys in space. They jump That's up it. on it? Do I just... That wasn't the right jump. No, you did it again, too. I meant to do a flip jump, but it, it didn't time me right. Fuck. <laughs> what fuck? What fuck, boy? What fuckery is what this? What fuckery? I haven't fallen into a game that hard in a very long time. Last I fell I felt pretty hard into like Sundered. I had a lot of fun playing that. Last and game, obviously Red Dead. Last game that did that was probably either Breath of the Wild or like a Pokemon. I got you know, uh those were always addicting for me. Like Red Dead for me was one where I like did not want to stop playing. There was a night I played that shit from like What the fuck? That might have been it. But like a little further out. Well, too fucking bad. Right? <laughs>